what's up called gang. Today we are going to be sketching a curve and indicating its direction. So it gives us a vector r of t and it's equal to 3t 2 minus t. So we're looking at this and always want to even look for some constants. So we see that x is equal to 3, so that means it's going to be a constant and x is equal to 3, right? So that's pretty simple, right? That's what we uh, can you know, figure out from this problem. So it's always going to be at x is equal to 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, this is x is equal to 3. Don't have to worry about it, it's going to be on this plane where x is equal to 3. So we have t, so we have y is equal to t, and then z is equal to 2 minus t squared, basically. Let's write that down, y is equal to t, z is equal to 2 minus t squared. All right, uh, how can we do something with this? All right, well, let's just plug in values, right? Let's say t is equal to zero, so that means y is equal to zero. Okay, and then z is gonna be equal to two, right? So this is two, so there's gonna be a point about like here. This is at three, zero, two, is this point right there. All right, so let's plug in. Uh, so what we're gonna find is that because there's t squared, if you plug in a negative t or a positive t, it's gonna be you know the same value. So it's gonna be a parabola, basically. So if y is equal to 1, it's going to be over here, and if y is equal to negative 1, it's going to be over here. But z is going to be at the same point, so if t is equal to 1, z is going to be equal, or if t is equal to positive or negative 1, z is going to be equal to 1. So it's going to look like this, basically. These points are uh, basically, let's see, this is either 3, positive, or negative 1, uh, 1, is these two points. And then, so let's say, let's say t is equal to 2, right not? All right. So t is equal to positive or negative 2, we're going to get that y is equal to uh, 2, or y is equal to 2 or negative 2, and z is going to be equal to 2 minus t squared, so it's going to be, it's going to be uh, negative 2 basically, it's always going to be that. So a negative 2 is going to be like down here basically. So this is what it looks like. And if you notice that we've been going, this is the negative side, this is the positive side, so you have to show that like, this is where t is equal to negative, and this is where t is equal to zero, and this is where t is equal to positive numbers. So it's going in this direction. So that's how you kind of, you know, figure out these kind of problems, just plug it in values and uh, figure it out like that. That's how I like to solve them. Um, usually it doesn't get much more complicated than this. So uh, yeah, that's how you solve them. Good luck on your calico homework. Keep it up.